Today we are going to work on passing a volleyball. Our I can statement says I can bump a volleyball, which is an underhand pass, by having flat hands, straight arms, contact on the forearm, and move with body. Hi friends, welcome back. Um, we are going to continue with some volleyball skills this week. Um, last week we worked on our underhand strike. Um, this week we are going to work on um, bumping or an underhand pass. Looks like this, or from the side. Um, first thing I want to do though is talk about the equipment you need. Same as last week. Um, it would be great, of course, if you have a volleyball, like a light volleyball. Um, second best would be like a beach ball. A balloon would be fantastic, especially if you're having a hard time. Um, anything light, um, your plastic bag ball would be fine. Um, even a sock ball would do. You do not want a heavy, hard ball. So. Um, you might want to hit pause and go ahead and find equipment. We're going to be hitting the ball with our arms. You want a light ball. Go ahead and get that. Um, when you're ready, I want you to spend a few minutes um, just, you know, like we started last time. Hit, hit the ball around um, with your hands, with your arms, whatever you need to do to just kind of get warmed up. Get used to the feel of your ball. So go ahead and warm yourself up. Um, spend a few minutes doing that. Once you get the hang of things and you're feeling comfortable with your ball, um, we should ta start talking about the steps that it takes to do a, a bump. A bump is kind of like a nickname for the underhand pass. So I mentioned that there was four things. First thing is you're going to have flat hands. When you go to put your hands together, you definitely want your thumbs flat and side by side. You do not want them crossed. You want them flat. There's a few ways you can do this. You can make a fist and then put your other hand around it and put your thumbs down. Um, some people like to go like this and then put their thumbs side by side. Um, you can choose which one you like best, but the main thing is, I prefer like fist and hand around, um, thumbs are flat and side by side. Um, the second thing is straight arms. So I'm gonna show you from here. My arms should not have a bend in them. They should be straight right here at the elbow. So your elbows are kind of popped all the way so that your arms are straight. When, the third step, when you contact the ball, it should be on your forearm. Your forearm is this area kind of beneath your elbow before your wrist. This is your forearm. So that's definitely where the ball is going to touch. You don't want the ball to hit in your elbow or up here um, or on your chest or actually even down by your hands. You want it to hit right on your forearm. So that's the third thing. And the last thing is probably the biggest misconception. Misconception means like a misunderstanding or a way that kids very commonly do it wrong is when they go to bump, they often go like this with their arms and their arms go flying up and down. And really what you should be doing is moving with your body, with your hips, with your legs, moving forward. So actually, if you watch how much my arms are moving, it's more like my lower body moving when I bump the ball. So you do not want to move with your arms, you want to move with your body when you actually bump the ball. So what I'd like you to start with first is just getting used to those four important things, um, which would be thumbs. Um, we've got straight arms. We're right now we're imagining, so we're imagining that ball contacting right here and then moving with our body with a squat. You'll notice my legs kind of stagger a little. That means they're not like this, they're not like this. They're kind of one in front of the other. When you're actually playing volleyball, there's no telling you know, which way your legs are actually really going to be it depends on where the ball lands. But I would get used to having one foot in front of the other for your bend, like this. One foot in front of the other. So go ahead and I want you to do um, 20 imaginary bumps, thinking of the four steps. 
Okay, friends, um, actually the next way I want you to practice, if possible, is with a partner. Um, I don't have a partner, so I have this video to show you, which I will hit play in a minute. Um, if you don't have a partner, then you're just gonna have to skip this part, but if you can find someone in your house, this would be the best way to get started um, practicing. You can see he like tosses it, and she's just working on leaning forward not really moving her arms much. She's just leaning forward as she goes. So she's showing you um, that she does not just swing her arms. I mean, hopefully she'll get hitting here again in a minute. Um, yeah, so she's showing you that she leans forward. So go ahead, um, if you can get a partner to just do little tosses. Um, this might be something you have to go outside for depending on what kind of space and um, what kind of ball you're using too. All right, friends. So um, now you are going to try to just bump by yourself. Um, so this would be the second thing you're doing, actually the third, so you did by um, pretend, and then if you had a partner, you tried it from your knee. Um, and then this time you're just gonna bump to yourself. Um, I have a balloon or a volleyball. So um, I'm gonna start with the balloon, because this will be much easier. So if you have a balloon, I would start with this. Um, and you're just gonna try to bump it as many times as you can. Um, so I would just do this, get ready, use my lower body. And actually, I would love it if you can make sure that you get 100 bumps. You don't have to get 100 in a row, but you could just count and make sure you're getting to 100. So it would be like one, two, three and then let's say you decide you want to use a more challenging ball so i already have three of them in four five six seven and then i might mess up then i'm going to keep going eight nine ten eleven twelve and then you keep going until you get to a hundred um once again if you're inside Ceiling's going to matter. Um, I would probably, if you don't have a real volleyball or if you're inside, use that plastic bag ball or just put on your coat and go outside. Um, once again, balloon would be great. So as I've said in um, lessons before, um, it would be a fine time to go ahead and hit pause, ask your big people to go out and buy you a bag of balloons, keep them around for PE, and then just start this lesson again when you have them. But so right now, I would like you to try to get 100 bumps to yourself. All right, this next way to practice, you're gonna try to bump off the wall. So, um, my friend's using balloons. The good news is you can still track this balloon and really work on your form. The bad news is it really doesn't bounce off the wall very well. So watch me practice this way. If this is all you have, it's better than nothing, but so you would toss it. When it comes off the wall, it comes really slow and just kind of falls. So there's not much reaction for you to do, but still really good work on your form. So to be honest, if you have something different than a balloon and a nice wall space, I would recommend that you use a different type of ball that will actually bounce off the wall. All right, so while I do this, bending my knees, I'll mess up now and then, so I just grab my ball and start again. So every once in a while, I just need to kind of re collect or re um, kind of get myself back together. Make sure I'm working on flat hands, bending my knees, straight arms. As always, tracking that ball with my eyes. I would love for you to get um, probably 50 hits this way, if you can. 